In this lesson, we're going to add the surfer into our image to start building the composition. Hello and welcome back to the fifth lesson in this video series by Inspiration Clan. We've already placed our snowboarder into our work file and we've performed some edits already. So let's have a little run through. We brightened up the snowboarder. We then enhanced this snow wave and then we brighten the area around the snow border. Next what we're going to do is we're going to place the surfer into our work file and we're actually going to enhance the, the image slightly or extend the image just to the right um, to make sure we've got the whole screen covered with our image. So the first thing we actually want to do is we want to come in, let's just select the top layer in our layer stack, then we want to come up to file and we want to place embedded. Now we just want to place the surfing stock image there, so just double click that image. You can download that image in the link below. Um, so I'm just going to click and drag this image up a little bit. Hit enter or return to confirm the placement. And then I'm just going to come over to our layer stack and I'm going to duplicate the image by clicking on it and dragging it down onto the new layer icon. So there you can see it's now duplicated. And I'm just going to turn this bottom layer off. And I'm just going to rename the top layer Surfer. There we go. Now the reason I duplicate the layer is so we've got the original in the work file if ever we need to return to the original image. So now if we click on the Surfing layer, let's place this image uh, in a good position so we're ready to blend the two together. So hit, well actually what I'm going to do, I'm just going to reduce the opacity down to 50%. There we go. Now with the opacity reduced, we can see both images, which makes it much easier to choose where the new image should be placed. So hit Control or Command NT on your keyboard to bring up the transform. And then we're just going to flip this image horizontally is the first thing we're going to do. So right click and then flip horizontal. Now we're just going to move the image over a little bit. You can see it's, it's a bit too big at the minute. So I'm just going to reduce this down. Hold down Shift on your keyboard to make sure you constrain proportion so it stays the same width and height, a constraint. And then I'm just going to place the image roughly around here, I'd say. So you can see here we got the wave of the surfer in line with the wave of the snowboarder. And I'm just going to hit enter to confirm that. And I'm going to click and drag on the opacity to grab the scrubber and put that back up to 100%. OK, great. Now. We have an issue here because we have this area of the image is missing. So what we need to do is just clone an area here and we need to put that area back in so that we have a full, so that our new image is full width. So if we right click on the surfer layer and we just rasterize this layer, then what we're going to do, we're going to come over to the clone stamp tool, we're just going to clone an area and then we're just going to uh, clone stamp that area back in over here. So if you hold down Alt on your keyboard, to sample an area and then just come across and then what you want to do is just click and drag and paint in the area so let's just do that let's come down a little bit we want to paint in the sea as well so there we go we've cloned that area now the reason we do this in the next lesson what we're going to do is blend these two images together so this area will be partly covered so it doesn't matter that it's a replica then you can see that it's it's basically a copy of the original image on this right side so that's looking good thank you very much for joining me in this video lesson join me in the next one where we'll perform more edits and start blending these two images together thank you very much for your time and i will see you in the next video